I'm sure most of us tried to think of a board game following the astounding success of Trivial Pursuit. There was a time when it seemed we had more board game inventors per capita than any other country. Now, although the Trivial Pursuit game is the biggest seller by far, one game that made a couple of Canadians millionaires recently is called Balderdash. You've probably seen it in the stores. It's a game where you're supposed to guess the meaning of words by selecting the definition from a number of choices. Balderdash has been around for a couple of years now and is one of the top-selling games in Canada and the United States. Laura Robinson and uh, Paul Twine, the inventors of Balderdash, are here. Hello. Hi. Hello. So tell me the Balderdash story. Uh, in one minute or less. One minute or less. <laughs> okay. It started in 1984 as a, an idea. Got on the market uh, Christmas '85. Is okay. Sold. No, no. Oh, I got to stop you. Oh. The idea. Oh. Where it came from? Yeah, you guys together oh. one night. Well, yeah, it's gazing crazy. into each other's eyes. Mm -hmm. And he had the idea to make to make this game. He had this cushy job at an advertising agency, but he wasn't happy. Always wanted to do this. Paul has entrepreneurism, entrepreneurism in his blood. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just that's what he does. And he had the idea, and I. But it's a dictionary game. Yep, it's I mean, from you the played it as game. kids. We were playing it as a parlor game. Yes, a proven game that probably your grandmother played. We we actually met playing it up at a cottage. And uh, decided Aww. we could we could embellish this thing and make the words uh, choose the words right. and package the thing so it plays better and faster because mm -hmm. one right. of the problems, of course, uh, to the parlor game was looking in a dictionary and you have to look through and, and uh, go but through. But you all had the... to find all these words. Right. I mean, that was no That's small feat. That's where the work began. That really. took about. Uh, nine but we did months. it pretty fast. And your mom helped. Uh huh. Yes, she's a writer and and a crossword puzzle fanatic and real. She's our resident word expert. Yeah. And uh, she really was a big help Actually, to us. that was a lot of fun. It really was. We felt like uh, archaeologists going through all these old books and uh, huge dictionaries to source out these really interesting words. And Getting locked in, in libraries yeah. overnight. Actually, well, one, overnight. Of them, one of them I'm suffering from <laughs> today. We got locked in the Roberts Library one night. Uh, umbrelgia is a word. Uh, oh, the yeah. actual meaning is aches and pains felt when it rains. And today, of course, is a rainy day. Umbrella. So he was suffering from that. My, my at back breakfast. is killing me. Yeah. Yeah. You must be really popular with your friends with all these 50 cents. <laughs> <words. laughs> right. Exactly. So how successful has this become? Well, uh, <laughs> sales and money wise. We're now in. Uh, I guess we're in 10 countries now, and of course the North American market is the most lucrative at this stage for us. Um, as far as sales are concerned, we've sold to date roughly 2.5 million games. And how that really just take a twenty-five dollar uh, retail and multiply through, and, and you, you get a, uh, a retail value to that. It's over fifty million. And you two, I mean, do you get a royalty on every one yeah. of these? Yes. How yeah. much do you get say, every time someone buys one of these? Well, things? I, I really can't. We're not liberty <laughs> yeah. to say that, but I can tell you it's quite substantial for two reasons. One, uh, we negotiated when we went to our Canadian distributor. We negotiated a package, mm -hmm. per se, where the advertising was provided and. Uh, uh, we came in with a really a finished product as opposed right. to a lot of game inventors that come in with just an idea on a napkin mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. and, uh, That's kind of our advice to, to any uh, inventors out there is to put the money into a, a good prototype yeah. and, and don't do it, it yourself. Go try and get a distributor. Take it through really as far difficult. as you mm -hmm. can. Anyway, we had this finished product with a, with a real kit, call it a, an advertising and promotion kit that went right into it and uh, we were able to negotiate a higher royalty rate. So you and your never-ending search to do more things, you're opening a bar restaurant in Toronto called Santa Fe in That's June. That's correct, mm -hmm. yes. And yeah. Laura, you're pursuing your acting career because yes. you've done all sorts of TV series and movies. Right. And that's more important to you than... Um, it's what I, what I am as an actor. And, and this is something that, I mean, I was just saying, you know, if we do this other thing, I was going, I'm getting all excited about doing the research. So it's definitely still part of, yeah. part of who I am too. But uh, it gives me the luxury of, of doing... Well, give you luxury. Good, I mean, it would be like work. the two of you, I guess, would be like you came into a major inheritance in your late 20s it's, and it's you can wonderful. just do what you want to do with your lives. We're very, very lucky and, and really... And tan, well, so freedom. Not, <laughs> There's obviously stuff. something, a lot of benefits yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. No, it's done really well. And but you work hard. But my advice to anybody who may be watching right now, who may be thinking of doing a game, is to... Uh, uh, really focus in on the thing. Just drop everything. If, if you can, quit your job. Just do it. <laughs> really. And take the thing as far as you can with your own resources to a finished product state. Because if you go into a distributor with a product that's uh, half done, uh, you don't have as much credibility. How many more games can we take, though? I mean, Canadians, what, have come up with Pictionary, Trivial Pursuit, Balderdash. I'm probably missing a whole bunch. 
Yeah, Pictionary is stretching it because <laughs> Rob Angel uh, is a friend of ours, actually. We were just down in New York with him. He's living in Seattle now, the Canadian stretch. What, was he in Canada for mm -hmm. a month? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, exactly. His mother's yeah. from Vancouver. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll, no, claim, but, yeah. we'll claim them all. But, yeah, there, you yeah. think there's still a market for these things? Yes. Uh, I mean, Balderdash, we have, you know, it's just... It's like anything, really. I think it's like music. There's, uh, are we going to stop making more music or stop mm. making more television programs? Mm. Of course, there's a continuing market. This is an entertainment vehicle. It's and such I a think, social uh, thing, too. It's like a Wella Balsam commercial. You tell two friends and they tell two friends <laughs> and so on and so on. That's what happens and when the parlor game. somebody plays a game. And yeah, well, it's great. It's a great story. Thanks the for one, one quick question you didn't, or one quick yeah. answer you didn't ask the question. I'm going to give, give you the question. And the answer is, uh, what, the games what's, what's the... Uh, the most fun you've really derived from this whole product? What is the most is fun you've derived from this product? Thank you, Valerie. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. The, the letters we get. You should see these yeah, letters, especially out of the U.S. now. People writing from uh, Des Moines, Iowa, or people writing from uh, Arkansas, all, all over the place, little old ladies, all kinds of different people, saying, I played Balderdash, it's a great game, blah, 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 where can I get more cards, et cetera, et cetera. It's just right. really, this really... This one we just got in New York saying, and with my bridge club, and Vivian bought three games, mm -hmm. and yeah. Penny bought three games. <laughs> and I, so I really, I sold you 12 games. Yeah, these are real hint, people. Hint. She wants a Real game. names, real addresses. It's just incredible. It's great. It's really yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad I asked yeah. you that question. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank See you. Bye.